Welcome back to the world of trucks from Lima, Ohio. More action on the track in just a moment. Right now, let's check in with Doc Riley. Well, ever since Bruce Hubley started the promotion company, the Special Events Performance Series, there's one thing that's been in mind, and that is the family event. That's really what the Jamborees are all about, and a great family story right here. Young man, you and your dad and everybody getting together on this beautiful-looking truck. Tell me about the year-making model. It's a 1962 Chevy Stepside, four-wheel drive. It's a factory four-wheel drive truck. Um, bought the truck back in, like, 1991. We restored it then from a frame up restoration and then we sold the truck three years ago actually. We bought it back and restored it again, me and my dad. And we did it both times together. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's a family event. Me and my kids and my wife, we go to all the shows. The only one we haven't been to is Indy yet, so we're trying to get there this year, hopefully. Yeah. Let's talk a little about underneath the hood. 283, stock motor. Worked it over. We put a cam in it. We 202 fueling heads. Um, headers, uh, Elderbrock intake, and then we have a Flow, Flow Master exhaust on it. Tell me about the Flowmaster exhaust. Uh, a lot of guys are saying they're bulletproof, dependable, and they sound good. Does that wrap it up? Oh, pretty much. They are bulletproof. We uh, <laughs> we can vouch for that, actually. We uh, twisted off a dry shaft one time, and we didn't puncture it. <laughs> Bounced off the dry shaft, and we still have the same uh, exhaust system. You know, uh, Flowmaster's been around for a long time. There's a lot of people uh, putting together products, but it seems, uh, what's your opinion on why Flowmaster works for you? I think Flowmaster works for me very well. Like, you know, I gain at least 15 horsepower from it. It, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty solid exhaust system. I have no qualms. Uh, it works well. I really like it, and I think they have a great product. We've had the mufflers on for about three and a half years now, and we had a lot of luck with them. this original paint on a truck? Uh, no, it's not. It, this is uh, Boyd's Red. I don't know if you're familiar with that at all, but uh, we like the color red, and it was the reddest we could find. <laughs> and it definitely is one red truck. Will the family getting together having a lot of fun with the truck when they come to the four-wheel jamborees? Thanks, Doc. A lot of pride in the vehicles, and that holds true also out on the track. And you're getting a good look right there at Tim Wheelis, the current record holder in this class and a former champ. He will come up against Byron Rogers. Well, it's a good thing that Tim Wheelis is in the lane that sort of has been a little bit more manageable because being a past record holder, he's got a lot on his mind. He wants to keep that, that, that reputation of just being a winner, someone who holds records and wins contests. So... He really has to focus. The machine is prepared, rest assured of that. And again, reaction time makes no difference, so they're perfectly welcome to run one at a time if they wish. Byron Rogers lays down a good performance. Let's take a look at Tim Wheelis as he now basically removes the distraction, but now he's distracted by wrestling with the machine. The machine wins, and it takes him out of bounds, and reaction time is all he's gonna get credit for. And Griff, he was fighting that every step of the way. Well, that will bring up John Nordahl in his vehicle he has named Muscles out of Somerset, Wisconsin. He will face Mike Lane out of Botkins, Ohio. And yes, it's the same Mike Lane that we saw earlier. Remember now that you're allowed to enter more than one machine and it may be driven by the same driver. And so for that reason, Mike Lane really takes a two-pronged approach to trying to walk out of these conto. Whoa. What? We just had a supercharger explosion caught out of the corner of our eye, and that's going to put paid to John Nordahl's chances of even considering running here. Now, that's going to let Mike Lane run distraction-free. And again, we're not running side-by-side. -side. All he's got to focus on is his own contest, his own run. He drills another good one. Just a skosh off his time from Wicked Sensation, lays down a 2.53 with a 6. And that will be a double shot for Mike Lane. His vehicle's in first and second. Take a look one more time at John Nordahl. And a kind of a sedate explosion, if you will, but still, it took the engine out no matter how you look at it. World of Trucks being brought to you by Honda, the power of dreams. And by Hallmark, Hallmark, built strong for the way you work and play.